They see that you're finally aware of everything. Now their life is in shambles. <laughs> and here's the thing. Some people, you know, build their life. They build their dependence, right? They build their stability of pulling the wool over other people's head, right? They don't build their life off keeping it real. They don't build their life off, you know, their spiritual gifts that they've been blessed with through Lord Jesus, the Most High God and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They built their life off how many people they can lie to, how many people that they can gossip about, how many people that they can trip up, all while staying behind the scenes like a weirdo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All while throwing rocks and hiding their hands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now it's all while their life is failing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything's hitting the fan. Everything's beginning to come to the light. And now their life is falling apart because they want to take part in so much darkness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, when you take part in the darkness and then all of a sudden things come to the light, there's no room for you to be successful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no room for you to win because you chose to put loser vibes into the air. You chose to deceive. You chose to, on top of that, reel other people in with you to where they can hopefully lose with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they wanted you to be one of those hopefully type people. They wanted you to be the type of person that was just down to throw your life away and, you know, feed into the misery and feed into the lies and, you know, uh, pull the wool over your own eyes and your own head because, you know, you want to fit in so bad. And at the end of the day, God exposed all this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And when he exposed this, it led to your freedom. It led to your vindication. It led to your growth. It led to all of the above as far as great things that could come from Lord Jesus and the most high God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now that you're experiencing all of these great things, now that you're experiencing all of this prosperity, now people want to come close, but they can't come close because you're too aware. See, you know too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the people that have built their life up on throwing rocks and hiding their hand, built their life up on the fact that, oh, I didn't say nothing to bro's face. I didn't say nothing to sister's face. I'm good. I don't have to deal with any karma. <laughs> God's like, nah, get on over here. Like, we're going to get you situated, too, because you feel like you were so slick. You feel like words were just nothing when words had a lot to do with holding you back last season. Words had a lot to do with negativity sticking to you and, you know, lies sticking to you and lack of support sticking to you last season. So now they're eating all their words. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember everything that they said? Remember everything that they did? Now they get to, you know soak in it. Now they get to live that. Now that's the reality. They said you were a loser. They're losing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They said that you would get sick and lose it all and, you know, never bounce back or come up. Guess what? Now they're all of the above. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got their little pancreas hurting. You know what I'm saying? Their little pancreas stopped working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know what a pancreas does. All I know is theirs ain't working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Their pancreas, their liver, their insides, guess what? They traded that health in for the witchcraft that they did on your name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They traded that health in for the witchcraft that they did on your kid's name, on your babies, on your pets, on your businesses. They were so sick with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they had no mercy. Like they had, you know, no sense of I like, hold up, let me have some empathy or some sympathy because I know this person has been through so much and worked so hard to build up the things that they have built. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't have any sympathy like, hey, let me take care of this person or at least leave them alone as far as, you know, keeping my mouth off this person because I know they have kids to take care of, right? I know they have a business to run. I know they have a close relationship with Lord Jesus and they're simply minding their business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is what these people struggle with. They can't mind their business, and now they have nothing but their own business to mind because nobody wants to deal with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to deal with a person that's not only sick because we can accept that. A lot of times that's out of people's control. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, they have full control, right? Nobody wants to deal with a liar. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to deal with a thief. Nobody wants to deal with a gossip. Nobody wants to deal with somebody who carries demonic energy, and every time they come around, you just feel heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every time they come around, you know what I'm saying? All the laughter and the joy just gets sucked out the room and they filled with depression. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be around a person that's constantly moving around, you know, stalking people, randomly trying to bump into people because they understand that nobody answers the phone for them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're minding your business. You're aware. And these people's life is in shambles. So they want to come close. But they know that 
you'll never pick up the phone. Uh, they'll never be a factor. They'll never be relevant in your life. So guess what? All they can do is tiptoe around corners and circle around the block and randomly bump into you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is another sign of desperation. You're like, dang, I've been walking down the block for a whole year. Bro, keep riding down the block. Oh, hey, bro, what's up? Oh, just headed to the store. <laughs> just headed down the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, dang, I never bumped into somebody so many times so randomly in my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But these people understand that nothing that they're doing is random. It's all strategic. It's all planned out. And you, you mind your business and don't focus on these people. So you may be feeling like, oh, it's random. I'm just bumping into people. People are just coming by to check on me unannounced <laughs> when they know that's a no-no. You don't come to the chosen one's house unannounced. <laughs> God's going to see about that. Best believe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't come around you without permission, without being punished by the most high God. Because like I said, you're highly protected. There's no room for distractions. There's no room for your life crashing the shambles because their life is crashing the shambles. There's no room for them to even explain why their life is crashing in the shambles because we already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the apology passes are taken up. Take that up with God because you have already moved forward, bro. You have already moved forward, sis. And now you're sitting on a throne because you're royalty. <laughs> and now that these people see this, that they can't stop it, and that on top of your life turning into royalty, their life turns into misery, you know what I'm saying? Their life turns into shambles, destruction, pain, agony, sickness. Their life turns into all these things. Now they want to come around and, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, Cuddy? What's up? Nothing. <laughs> what's up is not your life. Your life is failing. Wear up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember when they had all this ego? Oh, yeah, bro's down. Sis is down. They ain't nothing. They're this. They're that. You kept your mouth shut. Didn't say nothing. <laughs> Just continue to keep working. Continue to keep growing. Continue to keep grinding. Now you're rising. Now you're on the come up. And guess what? The joke is on them. And God is allowing you to have that laugh because guess what? You were so humble. <laughs> guess what? You're out here winning souls for him. Guess what? You're locked in and truly solidified in the kingdom of God to where he knows he can trust you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guess what? You don't move out of pride and ego to where you can crack jokes and have a good time. And it doesn't matter because your purpose is sent here to save people. And in the process of saving people, you have to be joyful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the process of saving people, you can't just be, ur, 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 ur. no sense of humor, <laughs> no charisma, nothing that gets people to stick, right? The main thing that we're sticking to is Lord Jesus. But if you think Lord Jesus, the Most High God and Holy Spirit doesn't have a personality, doesn't have humor, isn't the source of everything good and the source of anything that you would want to continue to, you know, listen to or be a part of or grow in or, you know what I'm saying, be obedient towards, guess what? You're mistaken. You know what I'm saying? God is worthy of all that, right? And he has everything that your heart could possibly desire just waiting for you. And it all comes through awareness. See, when things were going over your head in times past, it was holding you back, not because you were a bad person, but because so many people were lying to you, doing things behind your back, and you didn't know which direction to look or who to really trust. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you really thought that you could trust people at one sort of time or one point in time, but then you learned to find out that all you can trust is Lord Jesus and the people that he sends you to trust. And even those people, you must watch them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they will switch on you because of your spiritual gifts. They will switch on you because of your light. They will switch on you because your purpose and the fact that God gives you so much favor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they could get their own favor too, but they choose to move in circles, right? They choose to hate on you. They choose to feel like they're getting one over on you in the most cowardly ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know you don't want a person to know you said something about them, then just simply don't say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you know you don't want somebody to expose you for being a weirdo or doing witchcraft or being a stalker, then just simply don't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not rocket science to get the results that these people feel like they want to get. If you know you want to live in prosper and be abundant in life, then just simply serve Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not rocket science. If you want to get, you know, the bells and whistles and a little bit of materialism and trinkets and be boring and have no swag and have no sense of real power, then don't serve Lord Jesus. But don't come crying to us because your life is falling apart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't come crying to us because your little pancreas ain't working no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't come crying to us because you got to do, you know, chemo and, you know, take your grammy to do all these different blood transfusions and you're having unhealable diseases at a young age, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or even if it's at an old age, it's in unexplainable ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, dang, ever since I came up against the chosen ones, I got lung cancer, but 
I don't even smoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ever since I came up against the chosen ones, I lost my pancreas or lost my kidney, but I'm only 23. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And these people are so-called healthy, right? But your health is based on how you act in the spirit. If you're evil in the spirit, you always have wicked things to say and do and envy and jealousy living internally. You know what I'm saying? What we are inside is what we are outside. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's why when you take care of your insides and you love on yourself, it radiates out. But when you have negativity and jealousy and envy and pride and ego for years and years and years, and you're acting it out, and then you're wanting to have peace, have sleep, and have a good sense of health, you're crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to have a stable life, you're crazy. This will never prosper. And now these people are seeing this, now they want to switch things up. But their opportunity to switch things up was in the past before their life got destroyed. But regardless, you're aware of what you need to be aware of. So when these people come back into your life, they have no action, right? They have no pool. They have no room to, you know, throw things over your head and lie to you and, you know, crash your life into the ground because they feel like you owe them something because they came up against you and lost it all. <laughs> you, know what I'm you didn't tell them to come up against you at all. And you definitely didn't tell them to come up against you and lose it all. You actually told them that coming up against you will result in them losing it all. And they still did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, oh, well, <laughs> continue to keep pushing, continue to keep moving. And allow the Lord Jesus to lead you in the right direction and nothing is going to stop you. And if you know this to be the case, don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, nothing is going over my head. I am fully aware of everything in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Make sure I hop down there, like this thing up. Make sure I hop down there, share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to keep in the loop. Every time we drop, I'll catch you guys in the next one.